Hello world. Hello world. Welcome back to my channel. Um, call me biz. Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis. This guy is hilarious. He's raw, no filter, uh, <laughs> really edgy. Just my, my type of comedy, all right? Uh, I've been um, watching a lot of his sketch show. By a lot, I mean two. <laughs> I did two so far. And Isis Toyota uh, is highly requested, all right? This is Gillian Keys, Isis Toyota. If you like this content, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Uh, you know, like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know you were here, all right? Let me, let me know you were here. Show some love. Yo, let's go ahead and watch. Hello, I'm Bob Isis of Isis Toyota. And we have a great collection of pre-owned certified Toyotas. But there's one thing I want to make very clear. And it's that we have nothing to do with the terrorists over there in the Middle East right now. And that's why we are the good ISIS. All right, listen, you gotta lean into the ISIS thing. It's yes. a good marketing tool. It's a great marketing tool. I agree with Barbie. I think you should be like, here at ISIS Toyota, we'll behead the competition. Yes. <laughs> no, we're not doing this. What are you guys talking about? We're not wishing death to any of our enemies. <laughs> we are wishing death to low, to high prices. Me and Barbie, we can hold AK 47s. Yeah. No, no. That would be so cool. So I'm holding an AK-47, she's holding an AK-47, you're like, we got the best Toyotas! And I can be, like, be doing that like terrorist turkey gobble thing. You know what I mean? We're like, good at it. enough! At ISIS Toyota, we have nothing to do with Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi and his vicious <laughs> gang of thugs. All we're trying to do is put you into an affordable, pre-owned, certified Toyota. People don't respect you. To the youngsters, I know you're having fun. I used to have fun myself. But there's something you need to know. Stuff like that? That's a load of crap. That's a load of crap. Can, can I be in a commercial? No. C come on, why not? Why? It's because I'm black? No, it's not because you're It's because your name is Ornthal James Anderson. And at ISIS, we don't price cows. <laughs> but if we find a competitor with a lower price, we'll kill them. Put it Cut that. We're not doing this. You don't love OJ? What are you saying, you did it? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, God damn it! All I'm trying to do is get you into a Toyota. We made this. Jesus. Oh my God. Where no. are you yeah. in the commercial? <laughs> no. got it. Oh Wear this in the commercial. I'm not wearing that. <laughs> Why not? There's I wore it on the bus here, dude. You, you know how hard that was for me? You wore this on the bus? Yes, I had to bring it here. That's dedication. Do you know how hard that is to get off? It costs more than the damn car. Like, you're blowing it here. Like, you you're really. Think I'm blown. Yes. Would you quit it? Quit it. I'm losing money on half these things. Cause you and your punk ass kids come down and fuck with our shit. You want an AK-47? Stop commercial. fucking with our Toyotas. Come down and buy them like a man. <laughs> I'm, I'm under a lot of fucking stress. I'll go fucking nuts. We are closed on 9/11. If your dad was real ISIS, you'd be up in heaven right now, covered in virgins. Yeah. But instead, you're a fat fucking virgin covered in used Toyotas. Yeah, that's what I <laughs> Okay. Mean, so. I'd like what do you fucking rip oh my fucking god! Head. Come down to ISIS Toyota, or I'll fucking kill myself <laughs> yeah, he and everybody here. The best. First of all, if your last name is Isis, if your last name is Hitler, if your last name is, uh, I don't know, Gaddafi, I don't know, if, you, if your last name is any of those fucked up, <laughs> any of those fucked up things that America automatically get triggered by, you just use your first name. <laughs> why, why use the last name Isis? Toyota sounds crazy, especially at that time when this came out. They posted it three years ago. I'm not sure when the actual show came out. It must have been at a time where that was that was crazy. But the OJ one <laughs> kill the competition is wild. It's wild, man. I don't know. I see the whole documentary on the OJ thing. <laughs> OJ might have did that shit. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm watching, I'm like, damn, damn. Uh, Johnny Cochran and, and Mr. Kardashian was good. <laughs> God damn. Oh, I, I think every, I think every black person who <laughs> seen that shit said, yo, he might have, he might, he might have did that shit for real. He might have, uh, <clears throat> <laughs> that OJ joint is that's hilarious. Wow. Uh <laughs> look, man. 
sketch comedy is his thing i think he should he should keep doing it he should keep doing um sketch comedy because we need somebody to keep pushing the boundaries bro everything is getting too sugar coated and too sweet and too uh politically correct everybody want to agree with the mat fuck the masses <laughs> like just 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 do shit that makes it god damn man yo y'all don't even understand how pissed off i be at pc culture bro like pc culture is literally castrating the balls of americans in america you go to a caribbean country you should see how those people speak they don't give a fuck fuck like they say the blatant truth dead ass in your face you feel me they see a fat girl hey fuck she'll work out <laughs> like your own mama will roast you to death <laughs> yo my mom used to talk so much shit to me bro like god damn tell you straight up about yourself but you know it's out of love so you can do better man yo Yo, protect Shane Gillis at all costs, man. At all costs, all right? At all costs. And if you are easily offended by comedy, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what to tell you. That that seems like a, a, a deep personal issue, all right? Look, y'all let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. I'm actually really, really, really tired. Like, really, really tired. If I seem a little too hyper, it's because I'm tired. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one. And guess what? You better be there. Peace.